What's up everybody? Justin's Auto Repair here. I just wanted to show y'all a quick tip here. Uh, when you're changing the alternator out, or sometimes I think AC compressors too, or any anything similar to this setup, uh, a lot of times you'll have, if my camera will focus, you'll have these little bushings that are pushed in, and once you get the old alternator out and try to put the new one in, these bushings get in the way, and you can lightly tap it in sometimes, but you risk damaging the alternator. So, uh, the way I've found it, and especially in a tight spot here where you can't get, you know, hammers and stuff, because this is a big C6500, the best way I've found is to take your uh, brake caliber piston depressor. Uh, I got this one. It's a Lang. I got, I think I got it from O'Reilly's. Uh, very inexpensive. Great for brake work, too. So, but you take it, you put it in here. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. You get it in here, just like you're depressing brake pistons, and get it snug. All right, I think I got my camera where you can see it. I needed my two hands to uh, do this. So, but you take this and you just, it's like a ratcheting uh, type deal, and you just ratchet it. And as you can see, that bush is pushing itself all the way out. Probably be enough there, but we'll go all the way. This has always been the best way that I've found doing it. This thing I wanted to act right with my hands. So. Anyway, y'all get the picture. It's already all pressed in. I got that one pressed in. It makes these jobs a lot easier, especially in tight compounds where you can't, you know, I wouldn't be able to get a hammer on this alternator. And, and you don't want to do that anyway because you can risk busting the casing and, you know, messing up a perfectly good alternator. So I just wanted to show y'all that tip and, uh, I hope it helps y'all. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.